first and foremost, congratulations on reaching this milestone achievement in your lives. You face some truly unique and significant challenges in your degrees and may have just made it through. But as Vin Diesel would say, it doesn't matter whether you win by an inch or by a mile, winning is winning. While the world is on pause and you might have some trepidation about your future, I see great opportunity for all of you in the world that emerges from this pandemic. I graduated during a similar economic recession in 2009 and it did not preclude my success. Just check out these awesome Dumbledore robes I now get to wear. I thought it might be appropriate to perhaps provide a little bit of advice and perspective from my own college experience. I went to a state school that was well known for having a liberal arts kind of feel. I took many of the same types of core courses that you have all taken and my formal academic degrees are in the fields of astronomy and physics. If you've ever seen the Big Bang Theory on TV, yeah, that was basically my life. As part of, the, part of this education, I noticed that the world was filled with problems that need solutions. In physics, this would typically involve using equations and numbers to calculate an answer. But the critical thinking skills developed during a liberal arts education can really be applied in any area. As a graduate of Marymount, you've obtained that same particular set of skills to start solving problems in the world. Your unique Saints education has provided you with a set of tools to rival Batman's utility belt in order to tackle all aspects of this current crisis. Use your broad training in art, philosophy, theology, and the social sciences to understand the historical context of this pandemic and its human impact on society. Apply your economics, mathematics, and natural science training to understand the importance of social distancing for flattening the curve and perhaps to work in the labs where a vaccine or cure may be developed. In business, cybersecurity, and IT, you can create contact tracing apps to isolate new cases so the world can start to emerge safely from lockdown. Or perhaps you're a future nurse or healthcare professional that will fight on the front lines of this event. And this isn't just a bunch of fluff I'm saying to make you feel empowered. We have some evidence to back up all of this. Currently, in the middle of the pandemic, when hospitals, first responders, and medical providers were lacking necessary PPE, Marymount Healthcare and Biology programs used their resources to donate gloves, gowns, goggles, and masks to those in need. Fashion design students mobilized to hand sew hundreds of masks. Biology and interior design students and faculty use 3D printing to create PPE face shields to ship throughout the country. Psychology faculty discussed how to teach children about the coronavirus in these potentially scary times. The School of Business has created a series of certificates for those seeking to expand their skills in a rapidly changing global economy to help students expand and upgrade their skills. In addition to current faculty and students, alumni of the nursing program are working hard fighting the virus. You may have seen some of them on Ellen. Alumni in public health policy are working with current faculty and students to get even more PPE provided to healthcare workers who are still in need. These are just a few examples that show Marymount is a community of saints dedicated to using a liberal arts education to help others. So while we are still living in lockdown, you can celebrate this graduation in person with your family. Pick a fun Zoom background, I'm partial to Hogwarts, and have some virtual parties with your friends. Do some virtual watch parties of Tiger King or The Circle using Netflix Party. Maybe pick up a new hobby to enjoy in your isolation. I recently rediscovered Lego in my quarantine. Now as Yoda says, impossible to see the future is. But the wise words of John Wick can offer us the hope that the best investment you can make is in yourself. You've done so, and as a member of your faculty, I think it's safe to say that we have no doubt you will see great success as you move into your careers or seek postgraduate educational opportunities. Be sure to stay in touch and let us know how you're doing. And when this is all over, we'll celebrate with a dos equis, not a corona.